Hello and welcome to this tips and tricks video on how to install add-ons using the Seek Add-on Tool Manager. Now, if you haven't already, please check out the Add-on Tool Administration and Development Knowledge Base article at the listed link. It contains information related to how to manage various add-ons within Seek, and a portion of which we're going to cover in this video. One of the prerequisites for this video, however, is that the Add-on Tool Manager already be installed. You can find that in the workbench under Tools, Add-ons. If it's not installed, please follow the instructions in this Knowledge Base article to get that set up. Note, you do have to be an admin to install add-ons on your Seek system. Now, assuming that is already present for you, let's proceed on showing you how to install additional add-ons. I'm going to navigate here to Seek and open a Seek Data Lab project that contains a Jupyter Notebook file for a, an add-on that I've created to generate radar plots based on data that are displayed in a workbench. You can see this is uh, Python code. In this case, I'm relying on a Plotly library and IPy widgets to create the add-on. Now, the key thing here is that you switch this view from notebooks mode to add-on mode. Note in previous versions, this was called app mode as well. Once you click that button, Seek will launch a new tab with a new URL. And really the key thing to pay attention to is that the notebooks portion of that URL has been replaced in this case with add-on. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this URL and copy it to my clipboard. And that concludes the portion that is done in Seek Data Lab. So now we can navigate over to Seek Workbench. And as I previously mentioned, if we go to our tools pane here, under add-ons, we'll see a list of various add-ons, of course, that we have already installed in this case on the server. But the one that I'm interested in is the add-on tool manager, or in this case, it's called add-on tool management add-on. I'll click on that. And let me bring that over here into the window. And this is basically where you can administer all different add-ons that are installed in your Seek system. So here you can see every all the add-ons that are already installed. In this case, we're going to install a new one. So I'm going to go give this a new name. And of course, a description that goes along with what this add-on in this case does. Next up, we want to specify an icon. I'm going to give this a star icon. Other icons can be found at fontawesome.com at the link shown there. So there's plenty of options there. Now, the next portion is the, really the most important part of this exercise. And that's to define the target or which script you want to launch when the add-on button is clicked. So I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied previously. And remember, that's the one that's in add-on or app mode. Now, some add-ons rely on data to be passed from the workbench into the script. In this case, since I'm plotting some data, I want some information from my details pane, for instance. So we can do that by including some query parameters. So let me show you how to do that. If you come back to your knowledge base article that I referenced earlier, and if you scroll about halfway down, you will see a section called Installing New Add-on Tools. And there's a subsection in there that contains some query parameters that you can include in your target URL. And what this basically does is it allows Seek to pass certain information via the URL into your script. So I'm going to go and highlight the relevant portion here, which comes after the uh, question mark there. In this case, it's the workbook ID and worksheet ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And back in my add-on Tool Manager, I will append that string to the end of my target URL. So let's go ahead and paste that in. And again, this will just make sure that some additional information can be passed from Workbench directly into my script. You do want to make sure that there's a little question mark between the um, IPY, NB, and the query parameters. Next up, we can determine what type of uh, link we want this to be. I'm going to pop this up into a new window when I launch the add-on. For the window, of course, you can determine 
uh, some of the parameters that are important to you. In this case, I'm gonna change the size a little bit. So I'm gonna make this a little higher and uh, also a little wider here, just because this is a plotting tool and needs a little more real estate. The sort key determines where this atom is gonna show up here in the list. So I prefer having things in alphabetical order. So I'm gonna pick R for my radar plot. So I'm just gonna make my sort key R so it shows up in that portion of the alphabet. The, the next uh, piece that you can define is whether you want everyone to have access to this or if you only wanna have a subset of users or groups. In this case, I'm gonna leave it defaulted to everyone, but you can of course change that if needed. Next up, we're gonna install this add-on by clicking the install button. And you will know it's installed once you get this green pop-up saying that the add-on has been successfully installed. Go ahead and close this. And then we'll refresh the Seek Workbench to get the latest list of add-ons that are available to our users. And now you can see here on the left, under Radar Plot, is our new add-on. I'm going to click on this, and it's going to come over here. And you can now see this add-on has been launched. I can select the signals that are in my display pane, which I've passed through the query. And when I execute this, now you can see we have a visualization that can be used, in this case, by everybody on our Seek system. Okay, this concludes this tips and tricks video. Thank you for your attention. For more information and support, please feel free to visit support.seek.com. Thank you.